it's episode seven. I think this is the episode that everyone was hyped for me to watch and be basically depressed because why are you guys making me watch this depressing ass anime? I thought it was going to be a fun anime based on episode one. Then episode two happened and I was like, oh, 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 I see. And then after that, it was kind of okay. And then last episode, little sister collapsed, literally collapsed, earthquake crushed underneath. Some blood was seen. Yes, last episode, you guys didn't really see on the YouTube side or the Patreon side, the post credit scene, but... The guy, the collaborator, showed up and he went, No, Ryoku, the little sister's dead. No, he did not say that, but he was there. What's going on? What the fuck is happening to our little sister? Let's begin today's reaction. Hospital? You. But what about little sister, Ayumi? It's a lot of rain. No! No, she's not actually dead. Unfortunately, to make it, no, there's gotta be some power. There's, there's gotta be some power. No, 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 no. You cannot introduce to me the best girl, little sister, and just kill her off. No shot. Is the rest of the season gonna be dedicated in finding someone with the power to basically go back? Can the little sister possess Sayori? Uh, sorry, you setting? How is this gonna work? How, how the fuck is this gonna work? She's actually dead? Shit's getting a little bit too fucking real. Like, episode 2 served its purpose in telling you to, like, get your shit together. Fucked up shit happens because he's a piece of shit character. And, like, so far it's just been his development of, like, in experiencing fucked up things and bettering himself. But, like, the sister has to really die for this? Unless there's a power to go back in time. Like, what the fuck? Are we actually gonna just commit to sister dying in episode 7? That's fucking insane. We need, to we need to find that girl, dude. We need to find that girl with the fucking knife, the box cutter, and kill her. I don't care. I don't give a fuck. She needs to die and go see Ayumi. The pizza sauce going away is... I don't believe this. I don't know who that person was. I don't think it's her mom, was it? Show her what? The pizza sauce was literally the fucking HP bar. No one thought she'd be gone this suddenly. What the fuck? You can never appreciate what you have until it's gone. And then you realize. And then you fucking realize that it's gone forever. And you can't fucking you can't do anything about it, dude. Today's episode is called the At the End of the Escape. I want to fucking escape this series right now. I don't want to be with Dead Sister, bro. What the fuck? She was so positive and cute. She was so wholesome and happy. She just dies. She just fucking dies. Like, fuck that bitch, bro. Like, Yandere box knife girl. I'm a fucking gouge her eyes out with the fucking box knife itself. And then I want to refill that pizza sauce. That jar goes back up. Maybe our little sister comes back alive. That the pizza sauce is filled up, I think. I'm not sure. It's a little dark. Bro is realizing that without his little sister, you know, cooking around the place, there's nothing at home. We do have that, I guess. The ramen from the uncle. Thank you. This is sad. He's only... Eat That's a lot. Bro, you can't... That's actually impressive. That he ate 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12... 13 here. 13... Cup noodle? That's actually an insane amount. Now? No. You sardine. Cream stew sounds disgusting, I'm sorry. Make better food and come back. Oh, Misa's gonna kick down the door. No, the cream stew! Bro, we're gonna fucking start licking it off the ground right now. No shot. <laughs> the disgusting line is usually used by now, but like even she's saying it. 
No, it really wouldn't. We need now. That's true. This depression arc isn't gonna end though, unless like something else happens. Because he's just gonna be stuck in the room forever. Damn, I can't believe Uncle's ramen dude is just being used as a fucking depression food. Wait, you got in? The fuck? Okay. What the fuck? Pack it, girl! What? What? She's back. After she said fuck off, we were never dating. Get out of my face. She didn't say that, but you know. What? She heard the news to kind of say sorry. Is she the one that's gonna save us? I don't know. Yeah, this is not looking good here. There's someone also behind the door. Some older dude. Who is that? Oh yeah, you, girl from episode one. Damn, new spread, huh? A lot of people already know what happened. Now let's go for waffles. Pancake sucks. He's not wrong! He's not wrong! Why are you being funny right now? They are just carbs! Just sodium carbs! That's it! I say pancakes are worse because it's more sugary, right? I think sodium is better than sugar, excess amounts of it, anyways. <laughs> Clever motherfucker! Could <laughs> be a box of cup ramen! <laughs> This is supposed to be sad, not funny! Why is this funny right now? Bitch, you gonna be my fucking errand girl, right? Get me more cup ramen for the convenience store. No. Then leave. She's just trying to help, but this is also not very good. His heart's gonna have a heart attack. He's losing it, bro. Even like his pattern of speech is getting so delirious. I think that this makes a lot of sense, right? It's terrible what he's doing, but you saw what happened to Mushoku Tensei, right? You saw the whole Norn thing. We talked about it, how whenever people are super depressed, you cannot give them objectively reasonable answers. You can't force yourself upon them and say, this is for your own good. You need to be there to just listen, or shit like this is gonna happen. It sucks for everybody. Do you think that he might even use his powers for like evil now because he's so just far gone? <laughs> You depression is way more than Norn depression. Norn depression comes from her of having skill issues, bro. Alright, he's actually going outside. Jump and kill. <laughs> Just to go get cup ramen. That's the thing I'm worried about, right? The way that his powers could be used, abused, like, holy shit. Like, it's gonna get, like, imagine if he starts to go more rogue and, like, gets more evil and just goes insane. We got, we were throwing like, fucking everything, bro. <laughs> no so we're just basically camping out at like a PC cafe, right?
Angel Beats. Angel Beats! Isn't this an actual anime? Angel Beat. That's, it's an actual anime. Some of you guys keep saying, watch it, watch it, watch it. Pizza is probably a little bit more nutritious than ramen. Obviously, you don't want to only eat that thing, but... Oh, some nutritious food. <laughs> more pizza. Just more pizza. Oh, we're getting salad! She used to actually care about veggies in the barbecue episode, remember? The, the canopy? Where is the story headed with the sister dead and you on the run? Are we perhaps going to get kidnapped by scientists, the research people? He could get abducted. This is going to get dangerous? And then somehow our group will find us and help? Dango. The pizza sauce! The pizza sauce! He hasn't ate anything sweet in a while! Pizza sauce! Pizza sauce! Uh, this looks like Resident Evil back in the day. Don't litter! That's worse than each no say shoplifting. He's really getting into it. Careful, you can't be wasting all your money like that, bro. He really likes. This is getting like way too much fun with the guns. What if he actually gets a gun and starts killing people? Ugh. This is actually like pure depression, pure escapism. Actually hitting rock bottom. This is not funny anymore. I just take possess them and just. How many of the dangos did you just eat? Oh, there's other dudes here too. I mean, he can possess you and start fighting each other. Oh, fight time. But if he possesses, I think he's gonna win. He's actually fucking lost it. His entire speech pattern is just gone. He can only take it over for five seconds, right? Knife? Yo, knife? Dude, that's kind of funny. Just picks out another dango to eat. That's on the thigh. That could be blood loss. He could die if it just bleeds out. He did pull a knife on us. This fight's stupid. Both sides are kind of fucked. He did pull a knife, but holy fuck. Are you gonna stab him again? <laughs> We've gone rogue. Pardon me. There's this appeal of someone with power that's abusing it and fucking people up that's satisfying, right? It is kind of appealing in that way, but at the same time, we're like, we're going down a fucking rabbit hole. Like, this is actually, like, going rock bottom at this rate. I don't, I don't have a good feeling about this. He's so far gone. What is real? What is not? Like, he's just losing it. They're just... It's gone here. It's gone here. It's only a matter of time before something really bad happens and then we might get even turned in by the scientists and their researchers dude does he only eat that dango <laughs> he's got an infinite bag oh shit gondo's gang more gang members <laughs> he talks shit so hard that was a knife weapon a lot of thighs are getting fucked up today Would you? Would you? I mean, they were acting all tough, but... Do it still. Do it anyways. I kind of wanted to see him do it. Holy shit. Bro has become like the underground fucking king here. Kingpin. Brrr.
When's the guns coming out? Doing it in real life is much more fun than doing it in the game. This is... I don't know. Again, it's just like... There's this part of me that's enjoying it because he's abusing his powers finally, but also it's like, where is this taking us? The villain arc is fun in its own way, but it's like, oh fuck, where are we going? What is it? Some kind of cartridge? What's he doing? Oh! Finally! She found us! Was that supposed to be weed? Was it white powder? I didn't see any color. I saw fucking nothing. It was just a cartridge? Then he just like put it down? Let's see it back in. Did we see anything? Did we see color here? Let's see, let's see, let's see. Before this, right? Nothing. There's just, there's fucking nothing here. And then here, there's also nothing here. Nothing here. And here, he lays it down. Yeah, he's fucking laying it down. Like, when he kicked it? Let's see when he kicks. Boom. Let's see it. Let's see it. Let's see it. Kick. Mm, I see what you're saying. I see what you're saying. I don't see the greens. I see white dots here. I see white dots here, which is... I mean, what, 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 what is the logic? What, you can show crack, but you can't show weed? I, if it's powder, it's kind of like generic and kind of like not clear what it is. So there's probably some like guidelines that you got to follow to make sure that the show doesn't get rated a different thing. I'm just, in my head canon, it's just weed, bro. I forgot that she could turn invisible! <laughs> <laughs> but because I saw the other characters around, because I saw other characters around, you know, with I, I didn't think that she was the Oh fuck, I should have known better. I was like, why is she not visiting him? I thought that she was giving him like the cold treatment or something. I'm like, when is she ever gonna show up? Fuck! I was slow with this one. I did not cook. <laughs> Can't be smoking that weed, man. That's the devil's lettuce. Satan's cabbage. For being the little sister here. I mean, it was unfortunate. Everything is fucked up. I don't know. Yeah, no more dango. Let's see something nice. You've been only eating sweet dango, bro. Pizza sauce. The fanciest restaurant. One bite. It's gonna be pizza sauce. He's gonna taste the pizza sauce and start fucking crying. Oh fuck, dude. Oh my god, is this happening? Because like for like the first like five episodes, right? It's like, oh, I hate this pizza sauce. I hate this pizza sauce. I hate this pizza sauce. And then finally the pizza sauce comes back and he gets reminded of the sister. And then he starts crying. Oh, my, and then he eats fucking everything. Oh no. Something that I thought was just like a meme thing, bro. Holy shit. Takaju, we're going to his place? No, you got a family home here? <laughs> Thanks, Megane. What's she making? Little sister! Over ice, over ice. One bite! One bite! And then he's gonna bite! And then he's gonna remember the pizza sauce! Then he might even look at now! Then then maybe Ivy's face will be there! Don't do this to me. Was that an actual mom? The remember it earlier, who was it? Earlier um mom was at like the funeral service. Was that was that the mom? 
was that the mom? You think I'm gonna cry for this shit? Ain't no way I'm gonna fucking cry over the fucking children's cartoon, bro. What do you think I'm a grown ass fucking man? I got real problems. If I want to cry, I look at my fucking bank account. If I want to cry, I look at my fucking student loans that I have to fucking owe. You think I'm gonna fucking cry with this bullshit? The lore of the pizza sauce. She was trying to replicate the taste ever since the mom left. And that's why the pizza sauce was so sweet. It wasn't like perfect, but that's what she was trying to do. It was just a dumb, sweet pizza sauce running gag. Why the fuck is it hitting so deep right now? What the fuck? We really need to go back and kill that little girl with the box cutter. Her last omelet rice! Her last omelet rice! <laughs> I will not cry! Live for your little sister. Yeah, you have to hold So it doesn't count anymore. <laughs> there is shit. I think this is an actual couple, bro. The villain arc was short-lived, but it was pretty fun. The abusing the power. We're back? And that's the episode. I did not cry. I ain't no little bitch. Grown-ass man. Real men bottle up their feelings and never express their emotions. And it blows up one day in a very bad way. I'm a real man. I don't fucking cry. I, I, I got my eyes were a little teary, though. My eyes were a little teary. Dude, the writing of this show, man, the pizza sauce. I can't believe something that we memed on so fucking hard was like how he gets saved at the end. And not only that, the lore behind the pizza sauce, the fact that Aimi tried to replicate the taste of mother's cooking that you really loved back in the day. That's what the pizza sauce was, man. That's <sighs> holy shit. This is crazy. And, and. The villain arc, it was pretty fun just to see him abuse the powers, like fucking up a bunch of delinquents and abusing it. There's a part of me that really loves like edgy, dark stuff like that. But goddamn, the, the ruthless fucking Dongo Hunter will be forever etched in history in this fucking delinquent world, man. Now, uh, it is episode 7 and we still don't really know who Charlotte is. This is going off tangent. Who the fuck is Charlotte? This series so far, I've done everything but Charlotte. One of these days. The name Charlotte will be title dropped, and I'll be like, oh, there it is. I'm not really sure what we're going to do from here on out, right? Because we have how many episodes, right? We have 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. We actually have 13 more episodes. And, oh, wait. Episode 11 there is actually called Charlotte. Okay, wait, wait. Wait. What if Charlotte is the name of the missing sibling? But it doesn't make sense because the missing sibling seems to be like a male, and Charlotte is like a girl's name. I don't fuck. I don't know, but that's it for me. If you're still here, if you enjoyed this reaction, please like the video, check out the other playlist for more content, and until next time, take care.